Hello and welcome. In this session, we will be learning how to create various sounds in our environment by using ambient sounds. Ambient sounds is a tool that lets you create very complex interactive soundscapes very quickly and very easily. This video will aim to show you the basic functionality of ambient sounds and demonstrate what features come straight out of the box. In this project, I've added a rich amount of trees, details, and so on. I've also added some AI rock monsters which patrol the environment. When in play mode, there isn't much happening. I wanted to add some background music and sound areas to give it some extra details on top of the visuals. This is where ambient sounds comes in. So let's get into it. To start using ambient sounds, we need to open the ambient sound manager. Go to window, procedural worlds, ambient sounds, and open the ambient sound manager. Upon opening the window for the first time, it will ask you to create an ambience manager. This is essentially a script that will attach itself to the first camera it sees in the hierarchy, which in this case is my fly camera. Now that we have the ambience manager in our scene, you'll notice that the ambience sounds manager has updated. Let's have a look at what we have to play with here. Ambient sounds allows you to organize each of your audio clips into sequences, which can be played either globally or locally within an area of your world. A sequence is a collection of audio clips combined with rules and settings for the playback. Another thing you can do with sequences is attach a modifier to it. A modifier will modify the playback parameters of a sequence once, it is, once the requirements have been met. Let's click play and see what our sounds are like. When entering play mode, you'll notice that the new tab appears, which is called monitor. When a sequence is playing, it'll list it out here and you can turn it on and off. So you can test which ones you want and which ones you don't. In this case, I'm gonna try and see if I can play one of these tracks. If you go to monitor, you'll notice the levels that it's at and you can mute it or unmute it. This little bar will demonstrate what level it's at. So I wanna add some background sounds to my game. And the way I'm gonna do that is by adding some wind sounds. Ambient sounds comes with this by default and it is a sequence. So I'm gonna to go to the fly camera. I'm gonna select the ambience manager. I'm gonna put a new global sequence, which is called wind. Now, if you hit play, you can start to hear the wind sounds. And no matter where I am in the world, you'll still hear it. Awesome. So the next thing I wanna do is add some, some town background music so that when the camera enters this zone, it's gonna play a different sequence and it will fade in the sequence the closer you get into it. So the way you do this with ambient sounds is you create a new area, audio area, there it is. And um, what the audio area is, it's a thing, a game object that sits somewhere in your level, wherever you want it. And I'm gonna make this bigger. I'll make it 100 by 100 by 100. Yep. And uh, when the camera enters this zone, it's gonna play a track or it's gonna play a sequence. And um, the sequence you can set right here. So I'm gonna set the sequence to be background game music town. There we go. So if I hit play, I'm gonna move my camera into it and to demonstrate how this works, I'm gonna have it side by side, the scene view. There's the audio area and there's my camera. So you'll notice when my camera gets inside of the box, it fades in another track. And if I go to the ambient sounds manager, you can see that it's definitely playing it. If I slowly move out of the zone, it just turns off. 
Turns back on. Turns back off. If you want to add a fall off, you can do this by going to the audio area and creating a fall off right there. So the volume will go in and out smoothly when I move my camera in that zone. It'll start here and then go to maximum volume when I get there. Okay, let me just show the camera. There we go, and then show the audio area together. You can see as I slowly enter, it goes full volume. When I go out, the fall off is dragging the volume down. Till eventually, it turns off. That is perfect, that's what I wanted. So the audio worked really well. But if I, for example, had a controller where my camera will fly over the town, it won't play the audio. One way of tackling this is by setting the 3D to 2D mode, and it will allow us to play the audio no matter what Y the camera is in. So if I hit play, I'll demonstrate this by selecting the camera and selecting the audio. You can see exactly what's happening. It's still playing the audio, no matter what Y I go in. So the next thing I'm going to add is some audio to play whenever the camera gets really close to the water. So this is going to be our water area. So if I go down to where my areas are, I'm going to create another area, which is going to be called water. I should probably name the other one town. Now for the water, I'm going to add a sequence, which is going to be the water sequence. And instead of going 3D or 2D, I'm going to go 1D. So what 1D looks like, if I go grab it, looks like that. And I'm going to make it so that the camera, well, the the uh, the box is going to sit just on top of where the water is, which I remember is about 50. So it's going to sit right on top of the water. Now, how this works is no matter where the player is on this flat plane, it's going to play the audio when the player gets to this point. I will need a fall off, however, because I will want it to slowly get in to transition to the water. Cool. I might actually make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Now, if I hit play, I'm going to select both the camera and the water. And as I start to get closer to that, that area of the ground, you start to hear the water. And the closer I get, the louder it gets. And the further up I get, the less I hear of it. Beautiful. So we've developed our little beach water setting. And there we have it. That's how you quickly and easily add sounds to your game.